Ooh, all right, hello. So yes, this is a weekly reading vlog. And yes, there's also an intro because I did my book talk reading video the same time that I was doing this video. Needless to say, this one's shorter than the usual weekly reading vlogs. Just wanted to come here, you know, say sorry for that uh, art. What can I say? Uh, she, she takes time. But uh, I also wanted to mention before getting started that this video is sponsored by Pango Books once again. Let's talk about Pango Books. I mean, y'all probably already know because I um, have swiftly fallen down the rabbit hole that is Pango Books, but if you don't, uh, if you have ever heard of me talk about like half price books or any kind of used bookstore in my area, this is that, but via an app. So you, first of all, don't have to leave your house. Uh, hello, love that. And also, if you don't have one near you, you don't have to venture out too far. It is for the US only right now, I believe, but you can download the app and I'll just show a little looky look at it. But you download the app and you can set up your shop by just taking a picture of the book, taking a picture of the ISBN number. On the back, you fill out the information that maybe it didn't grab from that ISBN number. And then you upload it with a price point that you want to sell it at and people buy it. And not only is like all of that is super easy and fast, I've done that several times now. I've sold a bunch of my unhauls and that's how I'll be continuing to sell my unhauls, which I've been watching Miss Katie Colson again and I am very much in the mood to unhaul. So probably another round is coming soon, but the shipping labels are already made for you through Pango Books. So you just print them out, they give them to you, you print them out, you slap it on your package and you send it out to the world and then if someone gets your book that you no longer wanted and it goes to a new home and I think it's great. I've been doing it a lot with books that I've had for a long time. I've been doing it a lot with books that I have read and just didn't want to keep and I have been buying a lot as well. I definitely recommend if you're someone who is trying to unhaul or you know size down your collection or if you want to buy some new books and new releases, people will buy them like the new releases and then within a week you'll see it on Pango Books and you can buy it for, you know, like 40% off because people typically price them around 60%, which is, you know, great. I love that. My wallet does not. But uh, yeah, I highly, highly recommend I use it. I'll link myself down below if you want to check me out. I'm just Olivia Reads the Latte on there as well. And uh, yeah, that is it. So thank you so much to Pango Books for sponsoring today's video. And uh, let's get in, let's get into whatever this is going to be. Hello, weekly reading vlog, uh, commence. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Um, welcome back to another weekly reading vlog. It is Tuesday, uh, June 7th, hello. Um, I don't know what's going on and I'm not gonna address it because you know what? I put on a full face of makeup, that means it doesn't matter what my hair is doing. I don't make the rules, I just follow them. So. Oh God. First things first, I wanted to show you my new Kindle sticker setup. That's weird. But you know what? I really like it. I really like having like a set color scheme and all that cute stuff. My TikTok tripod. I can't. I can't. I'm such a mess. Ugh. Let me, yeah, okay. That's better for the lighting. Also, look at that highlighter that I bought. I showed it in last week's vlog. Listen. Oh, there is a cat hair among us. Anyways, um, so I have, for everyone that asks, because I just get so many questions, but I actually, I do, a lot of them are on TikTok, so I hope y'all are watching here as well. If not, whoops, but I answer there anyways. But it's the Kindle Oasis. Okay, and this is my setup for right now. I really love the color scheme. So this sticker is from Scribble Prints Co. I got it in a random sticker pull thing. So then I just added some other ones. This is from last podcast on the left. These are cats. That's Steve Harrington. That's Iron Man. I feel like this is my entire personality right here on this Kindle. And let me show them I'm not upside down because look how cute they're dressed. Oh my God, okay. So that's my Kindle, yay. Uh, it needed a glow up. Speaking of glow. Can you believe I have it in my hands? 
I can't. Also, I kind of can't believe this is like, <sighs> Raven Kennedy. I love you, girl, because this is a floppy paperback, but it, look at that spine. She stays intact. Ah. So I have a book and a half. Well, no, honestly, I have like 100 pages and then a really short thriller. I got to read for this other video that is going up on Sunday. And then it's me and this book, baby. But this book seems like it, it'll go by pretty fast. And then I also have this arc, this June arc that I forgot about. I hope Bloomsbury doesn't see this. They won't send me Sarah Janet, but they'll send me this. Um, but it's called Ordinary Monsters. This is like a little, but then this is the real cover. That's a nice cover, isn't it? Someone on TikTok said they just finished this and it had the same element in it that Stranger Thing does, like with the kids that have powers. And in the very first little line right here, in Victorian London, two children with mysterious powers are hunted by a figure of darkness, a man made of smoke. That sounds so good. And I love when they'll send me arcs. Like if I could just get arcs just because I like the floppiness, I would take all y'all's leftovers. Like if Flatiron Books, if you happen to be watching this or if you're from the UK and your rights are under Bloomsbury, if you happen to be watching this, I like the floppy books. So yeah, these are the two that I would like to in theory read for this week in this vlog and then i have the jasmine throne um still going which is honestly at first i was like i'm gonna get back into this and i'm gonna speed through it but i don't really want to speed through it like i'm having a good time just chilling and reading it but i'll tell y'all now if you want to see my reaction to either of these books the book that i have a hundred ish pages left in is red white and royal blue and i'm ba -da -ba -ba -bum, loving it and then the book that I'm going to start today is one that I have been recommended so many times on BookTok, and BookTube, Bookstagram, all the books. Yes, it's finally happening. I'm very excited to read it. I, whew. so if you want to watch that vlog, I will link it down below. That's going to have uh, four different BookTok books in it. So. There you go. But for now, I am gonna go get, ooh, no thank you. I'm gonna go get a package off my porch, so I might be back to talk to you guys about it. I don't know what it is. And then I'm gonna go grab a cold brew because it's that kind of day and a turkey bacon egg white sandwich from Starbucks. It's my favorite that's there. I wish they had, um, it's not vegan for sure, but I wish that the turkey bacon, they would just do like Beyond Meat turkey bacon instead. Um, Cause I don't really care about the bacon part. I just love the cheese and the bread. <laughs> Thank God I am not gluten intolerant as of today. Who knows what the future holds? Apparently it can just show up. So uh, hoping it doesn't because I do love some bread. And if it does, we will have to move out of the Americas because Apparently, it's also better if you are in Europe. A lot of people don't have problems over there with food. Lots of other problems, but not food. So anyways, uh, I'm going to do some sprints over on Patreon. I'm going to be doing them with Erin from Booked and Busy. She is like... So in the... I feel like there's like a tiny microcosm in... Is that the right word? Like there's a little, little eco system that's real, real small. Micro being the word I was looking for. That, of people that do reading sprints. And I feel like I really gravitate towards the ones that are super like reading, talking, reading, talking, very rigid schedule. Gabby does that really well, where she is just like, okay, we're sprinting for 30 minutes. We're talking for five, the timer goes off. We're sprinting again. Aaron is like peak perfection of what I wish to be when it comes to sprinting. Like she is just so focused and like, you'll be in the middle of talking and she's like, oh, the timer's up mute. I love it. I love it. So us together, powerful. So we're going to be sprinting, uh, in like an hour and 30 minutes. So I have just enough time to go get everything that I need to get and then update this other vlog. And it's great. And I'm having a great time. And then I'm going to, I think I'm going to set up in the living room because I'm kind of tired of sitting at my desk, honestly. And I have to edit and I don't want to sit there for sprints and editing because I'm trying to sprint for a long time. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to go. 
obviously you're gonna come with me to Starbucks because if I don't film it, I didn't go. Very much like, you know, if a tree falls in the forest and no one was around to hear it, did it really fall? If I go to Starbucks and I don't film it, did I really go to Starbucks? Mm, bank account says yes, survey says no, so let's go. Okay, I'm back and I did get coffee, but uh, I got two packages as well. Let's see, one is from Simon Kids. So you're, I have a little, oh, and the other one is from my best friends, Liquid Heavy. Well, let me get a, <laughs> let me get some sharp to open these up. Ultimate lazy, so I'm literally taking this little sharp tool. It's fine, it's fine. I'm sure it won't ruin it at all. So I may go on a hunt to find a free library because I definitely do not want all of these. Um, I'm gonna be really honest. I don't know why they keep emailing or mailing me these. Um, so yeah, but the one that I am interested in is this one because it looks creepy. It's the clackety. I guess, but look at, that is, oh, that is Halloween and a book. I love it. Look at that little house right there. And then you got that guy on the back. This one I'll keep, because this looks like the kind of middle grade that I would like. But uh, the rest, I don't know them. So they're gonna have to go to a free library, which is fine because I mean, that is free. And somebody can read it and it's summertime. So, you know, maybe people are going to those more often. I kind of want to open a free library. Not gonna lie. Ooh. Oh my God. What is this? Y'all, I seriously, like, I feel like Miss Laura Lee or Miss Manny Mua, every time I open a PR package, you know, back in 2018 when like, Everyone still like the beauty side of YouTube? <laughs> I like beauty TikTok now. I don't really watch YouTube for that now. But when they would open PR packages, that's what I feel like. Look, at, I got a tote. Um, I don't go anywhere, but thank you for the tote. And by I don't go anywhere, I mean I don't go to like the beach, each. I ain't going to catch a wave. That scared the out of me. Oh my God, I am so glad I'm not reading a scary book yet. I will be soon, oh dear God. But look, isn't it so cute? There's a bunch of stuff inside. There's a towel, okay. This might become Annabeth's towel, to be honest. Is this a floaty? Okay, okay. My hydration vacation starts now. Oh, this is the new flavor, Tropical Punch. I actually wanted to try this. I was about to order it because I got the email this morning, but look, it's on my doorstep. Oh my God, and this is so cute. Y'all, we're about to make a tropical punch drink in this right now. That's adorable. Oh, I don't know, there are these things too. Man, this would have been a really good PR package for someone who has kids, which is not me, thankfully. Oh, Jake. Oh, Jake, you know I don't mean you. You're my kid. But yeah, I'm gonna make one of these and this guy right now. And you're gonna come with me whether or not you want to. <laughs> Cause this is my vlog. Um, but if you do wanna try Liquid IV, I always have my link link with the code in the description down below. So you can do that if you would like to, cause I freaking love them. So yeah, this is the Tropical Punch one. I guess this is brand new, I'm assuming. Um, I've not tried it before, so it's brand new to me. So let's go make a drink and then get everything set up for the sprints, okay? Okay. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's 
Okay, hello. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Um, okay. Am I still in my pajamas? Yes. Is it because I'm in the middle of editing two hours of footage and I have a headache really badly and I don't feel like putting anything on my face and uh, I'm just now getting up to get coffee? Yes, it is, but I wanted to show you what I got in the mail. So, um, this is the primer that I always use. It's called Glam Glow Glow Starter. I get the nude glow because <laughs> I am white as hell. But then I also got my first rare beauty order, um, ever. So, I wanted to show you guys. I'm very excited. I've been wanting to try it. Um, I want to try a new powder. So I got their powder and we will see it tomorrow. I got the lightest shade they have. We'll see if it's light enough because genuinely I needed translucent, they didn't have it. And then I got their matte liquid blush in the shade Bliss. So we will see how those go for me. Um, I like the colors. I think that they're gonna look pretty. It just really depends on my face, I suppose. But uh, I'm gonna go get a Starbucks drink that I saw on TikTok because what am I supposed to do when I see a Starbucks drink that sounds good? Am I supposed to just go on with my day and not get it? It's not happening here. So uh, I'm gonna go get a grande brown sugar shaken espresso with oat milk, duh. Um, it's right month why would i get anything other than oat milk any other time of the year but especially now especially now uh with two pumps of toffee nut added in i just saw the, and he was literally just telling a story time but he showed his drink and i was like oh that looks good oh speaking of looking good uh no not going there not me the liquid IV that I tried yesterday, the tropical punch flavor that's new, it's so good. I thought it was gonna be too sweet um, because sometimes there have been flavors that are just too sweet for like my taste palette, but uh, no, no, it's good. It, it's like actually kind of a refreshing flavor. Um, I don't like subtle ones. Like if I'm gonna put stuff in my water, I want it to freaking taste like that, you know what I mean? So uh, it definitely tastes like something. But it's really good. And maybe if you add half a packet, sometimes that would dilute it more. So maybe that could work if you don't like something too strong. But uh, yeah, I really like it. That's what I've been drinking. Uh, but then once we get that, we're coming home and we're reading this baby. Um, I do have to still edit. I'm only a fourth of the way through editing the video that is supposed to <laughs> be done for tomorrow to go up on Sunday. So I'll have to come home and finish that. But after I finish that, it's me in this book. Last night, I did read just a chapter of it because I wanted to, because I love myself. And I freaking love the direction this book series is going in. I am completely obsessed with it. It's going to be so good. It is. This is the fourth book in the series, though, so I can't really tell you too much about this because it's kind of a giant spoiler for the first three books. But what I will say is that if you like Akamath and you like Slow Burn, specifically Akamath and Slow Burn, this series you need to read. <laughs> this series you need to read. It's a King Midas retelling and it is just so good. And let me tell you what I mean by Slow Burn. So there's four books. This is the fourth book coming out this month, right? The couple that like we care about truly doesn't get together until the third book. It's amazing. It is amazing. And it had me caring about it. That's how good it was. The slow burn, the pining, it was so good. It was so good. And it is like, 
This is what book talk needs to recommend when they say enemies to lovers. Because people who are either A, just mean to each other until all of a sudden they're not mean to each other anymore, not enemies, not lovers. People who just don't like each other for some reason and then all of a sudden fall in love, start sleeping together, not enemies and lovers. This, literally enemies, like enemies at war. <laughs> to lovers. It's so good. It's so good. And then of course I have this pile of books behind me that I just, I want to start all of them, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to finish this one and then we could start something else. But that's where I'm at. Now I'm going to go get this coffee and finish editing this video because dear God, dear God. Hello. Happy Friday, everybody. Beetlejuice is the day. Um, okay. So I have two things to update. Actually, I have a few things to update. So first of all, I did finish two books. I finished Red, White, and Royal Blue on Wednesday, and then I started and finished Verity on Wednesday. And then yesterday, Thursday, uh, my brain took the day off. Couldn't tell you why, I was feeling down. I was feeling sad. It wasn't a good time. Uh, but then I was like, you know what? Maybe a good, I love YA contemporary in the summertime specifically. So I picked up By the Book, which is a YA contemporary. So far what I know about this is it is a girl who used to go to a school that was basically run by the college by the Department of Education. And it was kind of like what I would assume a student teaching school led by students would be like, which is very chaotic. And I feel like that probably wasn't going very well. And so now, that program got closed down, so she has to go to the public high school. And her the school that she was in wasn't like a private school or anything. It was literally a program, but I guess they had, I don't know. I don't need to make it make sense for my education brain. I'm just going to go with it. So I'm liking the writing style. I think that I could see how some people would not like our main character at all because she's obsessed with literature. And I'm talking like Austin, Wolf, the Brontes. Like she's obsessed with older stories and she talks like that in real life. And it is not realistic to how teenagers talk. Trust me, I know. I had to hear a lot of it. A lot of things were said, a lot of things were heard. But I think if she came from somewhere where the kids are gonna be more advanced as like they have to be to be placed in this program. And as a kid that was a, one of those kids, they're all weird, we're all weird, we're all weird. And I think that the way that she talks is really funny and reading it in a more comical lens versus, you know, this isn't realistic, definitely the way to go, just by the by. But uh, I really like, this cover first of all like look at how beautiful it is and i just i'm excited for it i'm excited to read it uh i'm gonna keep going i only got to chapter five page 44 last night but i think i'm just gonna keep going with this and no it's not on my tbr but i did really good with my tbr thus far anyways and it's only the 10th and i have finished i think six books for june so I'm gonna let myself chill out with this one. And then um, audiobook wise, when I'm walking on the treadmill and whatnot, I have decided to pick up Ordinary Monsters. Um, this is an arc, so it doesn't have like the actual cover. It has the actual cover here though. And this narrator, put everything down, pause the video, don't close out of it, come back, give me the watch time. But this narrator, seriously, is so good his voice is like butter that's exactly how i said it to aaron <laughs> it does though it, it sounds like I smell this butter. and then the last thing i have my kindle book because you know i always have to have three audio kindle and physical the trifecta the holy trinity um i'm reading sweet hand uh i do not look up the synopsis for these books beforehand. We already know this, but I have to say it every time because every single video I get a comment, why don't you read the synopsis? And you... Right? That would make sense. Here's the dealio. I even read them in the bookstore when I'm gonna go 
buy books and um, write out. Write in, write out. Wax in, wax out. You know, like it's just not gonna happen for me. So at this, especially if I'm just gonna pick it up on a Kindle for a fresh $2.99, miss fine. We'll see what, the, what it's about. So far what I know is these two do not like each other. Uh, I think she has gone back to her family for a wedding and she's like a bake star. He's a music star, music or producer. Uh, he's in the industry. And then she is like a really good baker. That's her thing. And she brought stuff to this, I'm gonna assume it's like a engagement party maybe and found out that he is the best man and i'm assuming she's the best woman so conflict but uh yeah so let me put this up here so i don't forget it but today i'm going with my friend to a freaking haha <laughs> haha Two story Barnes and Noble, and I'm gonna take you guys with me. I was like, oh, I should put it on TikTok. Nah, I wanna put it in this vlog because I think it's gonna be beautiful, and I love this Barnes and Noble so much. It's my favorite one. It's a little further out there, but it's worth it. It is because it's a full two stories. It's not just a two stories and then, you know, it's just a little bit at the top. No, it like is a full wrap around two stories. And I love this one also because I went to my very first book signing ever with my mom and my brother to see Mr. Rick Riordan. And uh, I didn't like reading at the time. I only read Twilight. Let's not talk about it. And um, regrets. Regrets are had. Regrets are definitely had, but it's fine. It's fine. So I am going to go get my purse ready to go. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm not going to bring my camera. I don't really feel like it. But I will use my phone. What do you think about that? So, yeah, I think that's all I have. I do have some mail that we will unbox when I get home. Um, I don't know what it is. I know one is from Hachette Publishing. So something is a book in there. Is it a book I care about? It's a 50-50 with these publishers sometimes. But we will see. Or... You won't see, and that's because I don't want them to keep sending me them. So I'm going to stop giving free publicity in these videos <laughs> because I don't know what to do with these books, y'all. We don't have a bunch of free libraries around here, and no one will take them. So I don't, I don't know what to do with them. But anyways, uh, I'm going to go get ready, and I will see you guys afterwards. I already know some books I want to buy, so don't look at me. Don't look at me. It's Pride Month, you can't, so you can't say anything. You can't say anything about me breaking the book buying ban. We'll do it in July. My birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> Stand on the opposite shore Hello, Mona I reach through mysterious ceilings My holy hope I look for the things I don't know Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know We're all in this, I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know Hello, Ramona. I 
Decided to put nails on, and I love them. I think they look so cute. But don't look too close because I got glue on my fingers, but I love it. Okay, so ignore the fan going on in the background. Uh, it's 107 degrees here today, so I gotta have it, okay? Um, but I got my girl right here. We took a shower because. It's hot. Um, I did put my nails on. It's a Stephen King It set. Um, do I love this book? Yes, I absolutely do. Do I love it if it's not taking into account the new two movies that just came out? Probably not as much. I love those movies, which makes me love the book. And I think I'm going to reread it for Halloween. I was just thinking about that. Anyways, I am on to page 105 in Ordinary Monsters, so I'm only this far through, but I'm watching Allie's Sprint still, and y'all, I'm obsessed with this. This book is so good. So what I can tell is a bunch of these people have, let me mute this for when they come back. So a bunch of people have powers, well a bunch of children do, and there are two people that it's kind of their mission that they're sent out by their boss to go rescue these kids because they're treated poorly. Um, it's not like it's a societally known thing. It's not like House on the Cerulean Sea where people know that they have powers, that kind of thing. But it is, it's well known in certain circles, I guess I would say. So that, there is that group, like what we, well, what I'm perceiving currently as the good guys, but now it's kind of being introduced that maybe they're not, because they are also being stalked by a man made of shadows. And if you've read The Diviners, he reminds me so much of King of Crows. If King of Crows was like super creepy, like if King of Crows was a gothic horror villain, that is what this one feels like. And I thought King of Crows was creepy to begin with, but not the creepiest. I think Naughty John was creepier in the first book, but whatever. This is like, this is good. I'm only on chapter six. I already feel so attached to these characters. Charlie is my favorite character so far. It, it, there's just a lot. There's just a lot. And I would recommend the audiobook because there's all kinds of accents. We have Irish accents, Scottish accents. There's Southern ones. There's Northern ones from um, the Americas. It's so good. It's so freaking good. So I have my book down to 2.3 times speed. I slowed it down a little bit so I could read along with the book. Um, so that's what I'm doing and I'm tabbing it as well and I am just having a good time and I just wanted to update because I was like wow I'm really enjoying this book and I'm so sorry for how short this vlog. I, this vlog is gonna be so short compared to the other vlogs I've put up recently but you could just go back and rewatch those vlogs or Sunday's vlog which was an hour and five minutes long. Uh, but I'm so into this book. I, like, I'm so into this book. We can spend all day. When do you watch the 
watch TikTok and she's like, what are you talking about? Sure. Yeah, she was like, I know every word to that song. And I'm like, okay, mom. Sure. 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 Oh my uh, gosh. We look great now. We I do so think so. Oh my god, look at us. Hello, I am setting up a reading journal while watching Katie's newest vlog and giving Annabeth a bath. <laughs> happy Sunday, guys. Happy Sunday. It's 107 degrees outside, so we're doing our little bath inside today. Look at this cute little bean. Okay, hi. Look at... Yeah, I know. I look the exact same in the intro. It's because I just remembered to film it. But it's the outro. It is the time that we will be parting from each other. And uh, I did want to show you the two books that I picked up because I did not remember to haul those for you. Uh, as far as reading updates go, I didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, haven't really made a dent in all the things. Although, you know, okay, this is a big book. So to be fair to myself, I am almost halfway through. I'm on page 200 87 and I have an appointment that I'm about to drive to and it's like 45 minutes there and back um, with traffic maybe so audio booking love it love it love it but uh, I don't really have anything else to update you reading wise because I was really just listening to that audiobook and doing my word search game which I won I think Oh my god how embarrassing would it be because I did after I got like 200 points ahead of her I was like I'm tired. I no longer want to do this. Uh, so we'll see right now, live time, if I won. Oh, I did. So there we go. There we go, Liv, boom, Sherry, who? Not someone I'm worrying about anymore, but uh, okay, anyways. <laughs> that is the week uh, as far as reading goes. And you know, it is what it is. But the two books I picked up, when I asked for recommendations because I watched the first episode of Stranger Things season four and um, I'm not feeling well. So I've been watching a lot of reality shows and things that are like lighter because season four is literally just a horror, which I love, but I'm just not in the mood for it. So it's on the back burner, it's on pause for now, which is fine, I'll probably binge all of it in July when the last part comes out, but that new character, Eddie, hello with that girl who, you know, bless her. But uh, I wanted I wanted more recommendations like that, which I do have two books that I am currently housing on my bedside table for when I, you know, do want to pick those up. One's a reread, one of my favorite books of all time. Mm, I don't know if I'd recommend it though, because I read it in high school. So it's like really nostalgic for me, but it's Nevermore by Kelly Cray. I just love this book so much. It's, if you love Edgar Allan Poe, it's like a love letter to Poe lovers, so recommend but the two books that i got recommended so i picked them both up i don't think they're going to be exactly that so i'm probably going to end up looking up fan fiction but that's fine because i gotta go back to my roots but i picked up weather girl which i really enjoyed the writing of the x talk i just did not love the main character so much so we'll see if i like this one if not she might end up on manga books and then i also picked up this may end badly which is a ya novel and this one is basically like there's a prank war going on and there's fake dating as well and i love um all of that all of that sounded great to my brain so those are the two books i got i know i only got two are you so proud of me but anywho I'm gonna, I don't know what that was, sign off. Uh, the emoji for today is gonna be a flower. Any flower you choose. Let's grow a garden in the comments. Was that cringe or cute? I don't know. We're not gonna think about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you are. I'll catch you in the comments down below and in my next video. Will we wake? Bye. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight